5 a.m. in the morning and I'm coming to you from Dubai for what is about to become an incredibly special adventure that I'm absolutely pumped to take you guys along for. So over for the next few days, I'm working with Emirates to fly a Pagani Zonda F from Dubai to Italy. But get this, the car is gonna end up going on the same flight that I'm on. Once in a lifetime doesn't really cover it. Um, but the event is so monumental that Emirates have decided to film it. I mean, it's such an incredible project. So um, yeah, the next few days is basically my journey involved in this, but also because I'm involved with filming it, I'm also gonna take you literally behind the scenes of this shoot, taking a Pagani Zonda F on an aeroplane from Dubai to Italy. I, I, I don't know. I haven't the, <laughs> haven't the ability. Let's do it. We are here at Park Ferme. This place is an absolute dreamland storage facility for quite basically the world's best supercars. They're based out in Dubai. Uh, it is my obligation <laughs> to show you just what is here uh, in the background those bright lights, that's our film crew. They're gonna be following me around for the next four days uh, from Dubai to Italy, but we'll get around to that shortly. Uh, just take a look, look what we have here. F40, F50, Ford GT, 599 GTO, 675 LT, 488, 993 turbo. Stunning, looks like a, basically a concourse condition E-type. Under this blanket here, Judging by that dot is a, wow, my finger placement there was terrible. <laughs> Judging by that dot, uh, it looks like a Project 7. Let's, moving further on, we've got not one, but two Veyrons. Two, you say? Yep, one right there. And Zonda F Roadster, full carbon bodied edition. Yeah, this goes on. How cool does this look? SLR Roadster in red, do not see those often. And it looks so good. Under here we have, uh, I think we've got two Carrera GTs, one here, one there. That's ah, just, yeah. Anyway, absolutely stunning. And yeah, this is the car over here that we're going to be taking. <laughs> this is the bit where I slap myself in the face. Behold! Eternally pumped to, to A be doing this, B be sharing it with you, and see the fact that this isn't a dream. It's really happening. Okay, what is crazy about this is the fact that this service even exists. So I'm now in a chauffeur, which is going to take us to the airport um, and we'll arrive at first class drop off. But what's even more crazy about this is that I'm also going together with a Zonda that is go that is currently on a truck, also heading to the airport, and we're going as one. The Zonda is effectively gonna become a, a passenger on this flight. Black truck right there has our actual car in it. How cool is that? We are on the way to the same place. So when I say we're bringing the car with us, I mean, it's coming on board, like a piece of luggage. It really is going with us to the airport. There's no like sort of huge pre-arrangements. It's coming together with me. And I guess ultimately when you step off at the, the end, your car's just there for you. It's, it's just an amazing, amazing service.
5 a.m. again the next morning. Forgive the weird jump cuts. This is ultimately a very vloggy behind the scenes take on what's happening over the next few days. As a recap, flying a Zonda from Dubai to Italy on an Emirates airline. Yeah, crazy. Uh, but this morning is scene two, as it were, where the Zonda is arriving at the cargo bay behind the scenes at Dubai Airport. Uh, you would not believe the clearance, the security checks and things that it's taken to get me here. For me to be able to share this with you is, has been months worth of, of work. Amazingly, I'm gonna be able to take you along for the journey and, and show you what it's like when a supercar goes on a plane. This sort of thing doesn't happen every day. Air side where is all the magic happens because that's when we get to see the car being loaded into an actual aeroplane. Yep, this is happening. This is happening. <laughs> being here I've got to wear these really fancy shoes <laughs> aren't they beautiful <laughs> however I do have to drive a Zonda in a minute so I think I'm gonna be swapping them out for something a bit more purposeful all right it is Zonda driving time <laughs> the funny thing about this is when I imagined myself driving a Zonda for the very first time the last thing I thought I'd be doing is driving up a ramp at Dubai Airport but I ain't complaining This is it, we are now on the other side of the security. For obvious reasons, I couldn't film what I've just had to go through, but believe me, to get in here and just look where I am right now, we are in the inner bowels of Dubai Airport. To get in here has been, oh, I would imagine it's similar to getting into Fort Knox. Zonda's in now, we got someone loading it onto a pallet. Next day, just take this thing to its plane. Really cool thing about this is, we've got to remember that this isn't going on a cargo plane, this is going on a passenger plane. Me and the car are going on the same plane together and we're going to land at the same time. And I get off the plane and we get in the car. Like, remember that because normally these sorts of things, they take a week in the planning. You sort of send your car up ahead and then it'll arrive before or even after you. But this, you'll be flying in first class and the car's just, just downstairs under you. It's, it's so cool. And it sits on this big metal bed. Which is, and this thing basically slides all around the airport. It goes on these rollers here. And then eventually it's gonna be lifted up onto this platform. As an example, all different kinds of cargo go on these, these like flat metal, metal beds. They slide around the airport on all these little ball bearings. Gonna pop off this end there onto one of these trailers, pops up to this bad boy.
me and this incredible noise, but we are on the runway. We are here, right by our plane, where the Zonda will be loaded shortly. But just take a look around at what I'm looking at right now. This plane up here about to take off. Honestly, the views around me are absolutely crazy. The Emirates fleet, it's just unbelievable sight. Plane after plane after plane. And here's our Zonda. So, next step, we're gonna take the Zonda. Let me face the sunshine. Take the Zonda off this pallet and load it on the plane. Right, I know today is all about the Zonda, but just while we're boarding this plane, I'm right by the engine of this plane. Look at the size of this thing. It's absolutely massive. You can never have an appreciation for just how big it is. To give you some context, that truck is a similar size to that engine. But it's not every day that you get to chill underneath a plane. Look, look where I am right now, engine behind me. It's just mad, but you know when you look at a plane from afar and you think that the, the wheels and tires are quite small? They are not. <laughs> the size of my size of my body. They are absolutely huge. And also, look at this, look at what this thing's on. I mean, <laughs> to get up close on one of these is I am absolutely blown away honored, mesmerized, privileged, and just to be able to share this. So thankful, but look at the severity of these. The substance of, look at the hydraulic rams on this. You could, you could prop up a building with these things. film set. Look, all of this here, completely empty. I currently have the plane to myself. As far as cool goes, this is topping the list right now. Not only am I sat in first class, I can see the Zonda actually being loaded onto the very plane that I'm sat on. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> but if there's anything that I wanted to do or find out what it's like, it's, it's what's going on underneath where I'm sat on a plane. And here it is. I've also just found out by banging my head on the ceiling that the ceiling has literally got lube all over it. And I've been told it's because when they normally push in normal cargo, each time a box hits this, it just slides a lot easier. Problem is you get all this weird grease on your head. <laughs> with these last few mornings where I'm up two hours earlier than I have been these last four days which has been pretty flipping early so today is the day today is the day that we uh, 
finally board this plane with the Zonda flight to Italy. First class awaits. Thanks very much, buddy. See you. Bye. Thank Cheers. you. Man, these guys are great. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> oh, man, everyone here is so friendly. Look who it is. Khaled is back. Yes. How you doing, Khaled? Good. Good. And so, yeah, as I was saying, super early. Uh, I'm looking pale, like like newborn goldfish pale. <laughs> but it's worth it. We are now hopping in, first class chauffeur, and we're going to be dropped off at the airport shortly. And uh, yeah, ultimately hopping on the same plane that the Zonda's on. That's it. Yes, we are here, we have arrived at first class check-in. Here's our camera crew for the day. Morning, everyone, they're as fresh, fresh as I am. We've been doing this for the last four days now, so everyone's really happy. <laughs> but here we are, so this is what the uh, first and business class check-in looks like. Absolutely colossal mall of a check-in. Stunning, actually, look at this, so shiny. Glitter there. Yeah, so, um, I've just done a to take, a scene, which is me essentially getting out of the car and arriving here. Next scene, obviously, check-in. James. Dude, I'm uh, currently having a hand, <laughs> a hand massage, but if, if you turn the camera around, you'll see it's not remotely intimate. <laughs> <laughs> One big American <laughs> and a small Brit. <laughs> right. yeah, so this scene is all about the fact that you can, uh, when you're in the first class lounge, you can book yourself in for a massage. So I've gone for the quick hand massage, just for ease of filming. Sorry. Yes, that actually did just happen. I <laughs> just had a massage in the first class lounge. Crazy what you can actually do in an airport these days. Uh, while I'm on the topic, the first class lounge, and I say lounge in Dubai airport, is absolutely colossal. So this is its own shopping area. And it just goes on and on and on and on and on and it goes all the way down there and there's restaurant after restaurant and breakfast buffets and all sorts of things. Yeah, but shopping here, next level. Check this out. I'm not sure <laughs> why you'd want to buy this <laughs> when you're about to get on a flight because it comes in this. It comes in this huge wooden crate and it's 25 grand. Basically. Um, but yeah, this is the kind of stuff that you can buy in the first class lounge in Dubai. You know what this is crying out for? A race. <laughs> race is on, man. So this is the gentle, this is Thad, Thaddeus, Hello. say hi. Hello. And, uh, and this is the camera that's been in my face for the past four days. We've already, we've already, got, a, we've already got a bit of road rage in the airport. <laughs> I'm all about buggy life right now, this is awesome. I'll probably better put my own camera down so that can come from right. proper style.
Yes, that was every bit as cool as it looks. Yeah. <laughs> it's new car. New car? Good times. I think. Do we have more cars? Or is, or is that it? That is the only way to get around the airport. <laughs> the amount of times I've been at airports and I've seen people jetting past on those things. <laughs> Life goals. What's really cool? Check out this. Now this. This looks like someone snoopered rock around it, man. Look at this. First class bus action. I'm going to hit the back. Hit the back. Right here. Look at this. Like so much air con right now. Bad con. So what's happening now is we are getting on the plane way before any of the actual passengers are getting on because um, yeah, we've got to basically reenact the boarding and we don't want to hold anyone up. So when we get on, we've got 15 or 20 minutes of the plane totally to ourselves. Uh, and we're also literally getting the first class experience in this awesome bus that is straight out of a Snoop Dogg movie. I'm Candice, by the way, I'm working on this. Hi, I'm James. Hi, James. How are you? Just thought I'd introduce myself. Thanks. No one likes you either. Everyone here is so friendly. Amazing. So, I'm just listening. I'm just listening because I think the, the pilot might announce it. Basically, this flight is really special. This is the maiden flight of this aeroplane. It is brand new. I'm the first person to see, sit in the seat. I was expecting the pilot to announce it, but he hasn't. Of course, with me working along with Emirates, they've been telling me about all of these things. But yeah, if you go Google uh, this flight here, uh, that is, sorry, this plane, the A6 EPU, um, yeah, it'll tell you. It'll tell you that it is a brand new plane, and this is its very first flight. What an honor. So cool.
know this has been months in the prep. It's, it's so cool. I mean, don't get me, it's cool enough that it is taking a Zonda from Dubai to Italy on a 777 in first class. Yeah, those words are actually coming out of my mouth. But you know what's great? Everyone that you see around you in all of these high-vis vests, every single one of these guys has been involved in this project. And it's amazing to witness the smiles and the pride on, on their faces. First of all, because they're just doing an awesome job. But second of all, when you're dropping a Fugani in Italy, it is like returning a slice of Italian pride back to the homeland. Everyone's just so happy about it. People taking pictures, having selfies with it. It's just a great project. And as always, I'm just super pumped to be able to share this adventure with you to get all of the clearance and passes for me to stand here today and all and the other airport in Dubai and share this journey. I can't begin to tell you how much paperwork it's taken. But that's what this channel is all about. I'm all about sharing awesome experiences that we don't get to see every day. And I hope you found this one fantastic. Now I'm gonna sign off on this video here. It's been a long journey, but ultimately the Zonda is now here in Italy. The next stage is that we're going to deliver this car back to where it was made, Pagani HQ, and we're going to do a factory tour and a video around there. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Ciao.